existing building without pulling all these new... So tell me about yourself and your company. Okay, my name is Jim O'Callaghan, and I manage the North American operations of an ocean. An ocean is a German-based company that manufactures self-powered wireless controls for building automation. So what are you introducing at this show? Tell me about your product. Okay, our products are self-powered wireless switches and sensors. What that means is that for building automation, you need to know what's the status of the building. Is the room occupied? Is there natural light and therefore I don't need artificial lights? What's the temperature in the room? Uh, do I need to turn the temperature up or do I need to turn the temperature down? And all of that requires sensors. And historically, sensors were wired into buildings. But if you have an existing building, it's very difficult to uh, place wired sensors in there because you have to tear them down and feed them down through the walls. So there are wireless sensors, but historically those have been powered by batteries or line power. And, and Ocean is the first company in the world to make self-powered sensors. So what we do is make sensors that are powered by the environment, and I'll show you a couple. This is an example of a light switch here. The light switch is powered by the press of a finger. So when I press my finger, that generates electricity that sends a radio signal that travels to a receiver in the light. So if you see right here, these light switches are powered by those lights are powered by this light switch. When I press the switch, the lights turn off. This is an example of a key card based on the same type of mechanical energy powering the switch. When I remove the switch, it alerts the room that the person has left the hotel room as an example. They're no longer in the room and turn the lights off. If I come in and I put the key card back into the switch, we'll see that these rooms are, are not enabled. I press the key card in and all of a sudden the heating and cooling and the lights go on. All powered by this technology. This is an example of a, a photo sensor. And photo sensors are used to monitor the brightness in the room. There are many, many buildings around the world where you have windows. And if you have natural light coming through a window, you don't need to leave your artificial lights on. And so what this does is measure the light intensity. So here's an example over here. It says that there are 932 lux of light. If we put our hand over the top of that, you see that the lux levels drop to 75. Now a practical application for that is you can see over here we have some blinds on the window. So if I put my hand over the photo sensor, the light level goes down and in a few seconds the blinds raise and they let more sunlight in the room. This is an example of a solar cell powered thermostat. So the solar cell provides the energy and then the user can set the temperature and the fan speed that they want. So if we look at our controls over here we see that the set point is 48.8 degrees. So if I turn the set point up on the thermostat, it sends a radio signal and sets the temperature up to 89 degrees, which turns the fan on. So now the heat is on. So let's look, for example, at a hotel application where someone turns the heat up or the air conditioning up, but then they decide to open the window. And for a demonstration, you'll see that this represents that the heat is on in the room. If I open the window, we have a solar-powered magnet contact that sends a radio signal and says the window's open, you no longer need to have your air conditioner on. Turn that off. All of these are self-powered wireless sensors which are used to inform a building automation system ways that they can conserve energy, save wiring, and make a greener universe. So can you tell me lastly about your availability of the product in the market and also a little bit about pricing, general information? Sure, I'd be happy to. Uh, an Ocean has formed an alliance to bring together over 70 manufacturers of products based upon an Ocean technology. At this show here today, there are about 10 manufacturers who actually have products ready and available for sale. Globally, there are approximately 70 manufacturers that offer more than 350 products available for sale. And an Ocean technology has been installed, over 500,000 units have been installed in 10,000 buildings throughout the world. In fact, if we look over here, we see a tall tower. This is the Space Tower in Madrid, Spain. That picture on the end of the booth. In that Space Tower, there are 4,200 wireless controls, all powered by an ocean energy harvesting. 
in general, an ocean wireless technology is compared to installing a wired automation system. In almost every case, we are at least 20% less cost for a wireless system than a wired automation system for the initial installation. Most buildings are remodeled and they move walls, move offices about every five years. For each of those renovations, we save approximately 80% of the cost for the renovation. So in general, the technology is cheaper, it's greener, it's easier to install, and it's more flexible for the future.